Ron Brooks. It was Bedlam Series time at Lewis Field as Oklahoma came in on Saturday, a game that always has things happen a little bit different. And here's one team that hadn't been turning it over that much, your team. Their team had been turning it over a lot. The roles reversed on Saturday, five turnovers for the Cowboys. Well, if they had left Gerald Moore, the fullback at home, we might could have been able to That was a big turnover right I mean, there, it, wasn't it? And, 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 and I know I'm not really joking around about it, but he obviously makes him a much better football team. He's been down and injured. We really did not know going in you know, how if they had him back, how they would try to feature him in what formations. Now, that doesn't – no excuse for missing tackles, certainly, but uh, I think that was a real big factor in the ball game. And then and we turned the ball over four times in, in the first half. Uh, two fumbles, a couple of interceptions, and as we'll see here, we, which has happened in this series a couple of times, for we just kind of did not set a real good tone early on in front of a large home crowd. It's a sellout; everybody's gunned up. We hit a nice play to start the ball game, fumble, and then that kind of put us on our heels, really, from a turnover standpoint. Although we got back in it, and really, with six minutes left in the ball game, oh, you still got a legitimate exactly. chance. So, so we're going to see a pretty competitive ball game here. And we will do that when we return right after this timeout. Whenever it's the Cowboys and the Sooners, it's a little bit extra, like maybe the night before the game and big bonfire and everybody getting ready. Well, it does. There's the obviously the emotions involved in this ball game, being the two in-state schools, and, and this has been an old tradition around here. This been was revived a couple of years ago as far as the bonfire and. Uh, again, uh, large crowd sell out. I don't know if there were any seats left. And, you know, we had uh, the introduction of the seniors. Had 15 guys, which have been all been very, very important to this program over the past several years. And, uh, the, we were ready to play. I think they were ready to play. And again, all the things that go along with. They'd had some problems as far as kicker wise, and had to bring this kid out of red shirt. And we hit this dense and hits a little crack here, and almost gets on with it here. It, it, was, it was unusual in that there what really wasn't anything real big that happened any of the kick phases. We checked to this sprint pass early on and, and Tony ends up running. Uh, uh, other, they got a kickoff return at one point and, and we, and we uh, got that first one. There's an incompletion right there. Now watch this. This is a big play in this ball game. Little bit of different. We'd run a, a delay to the fullback, Jeff Grenier. Nice throw, nice catch. We got the ball at 45 yard line, get hit, fumble. They get the ball, which is uh, again, not the way to start this one, particularly when it, when you know that it's going to be well, good play Lorenzo Green. When you f figure it's probably going to be this type of ball game. Okay, here they they got here's Jerry Moore seven, uh, uh, who I thought was was the difference in this ball game. But uh, this first series we played pretty good. Got this screen well defended. Tyler Williams does so so we uh, they've got the we stopped them and and they punt the ball and. and I get, but the big play that was, a, I think, the fumble uh, by, by Jeff. You know, sure. I'm not trying to finger Jeff because he's a good football player and good youngster and everything. It's Joe Jefferson. But, but I it, thought it, it would have it, given you a chance to really establish some early momentum. Well, at worst, you're going to have the going to punt them back down inside sure. their 20-yard uh, line, and, and you got a chance there. Uh, Andre Richardson, uh, David Thompson, our other tailback, has had a hamstring that has been bothering him. It's sore and. And it, it did, really did not get any better late in the week. It was a little bit cool, and I think that probably affected it somewhat. Um, Ball right there hit Jeroy Johnson. Yeah, it and did. was dead. Yeah. You thought you had the recovery, but that's why it, no, it did it, not I, I, I yeah. saw it hit uh, Jeroy first. And they come back, okay, they, they run their little uh, stop route out here. And, and you know, we, we're giving some ground fairly grudgingly in here. Well, we had this one that happened right in front of me, and Jeroy had his hand up in there and, and couldn't get the ball out, and they make the catch. And, and run and okay here's Jeff Frazier. I really didn't think their tailbacks were much of a factor in the ball game, but this guy is now. This kind of stuff here, and as the as the ball game went on, uh, he became more of a factor there. So, so we missed bounce off a tackle here. We we hit, we had to start doing some stunting to stop him. And this here, he just runs over the safety and goes and scores because he's a stocky built 230 pounder from Houston Yates. I remember seeing him in, in high school. Dan was a quality guy that, that that we were involved in recruiting of. At that particular point, and, and they missed the extra point, so it's uh, six to nothing. Here we're going to get another little chance at, at a return. The wind at times was a factor. Uh, see, Denson kind of hits this one on the run here. That's going downwind a little bit. And uh, okay, here's Andre Richardson on the on the on the sweep, and we couldn't really ever get them out flanked and, and kind of knew it. Okay, now we played Boogie Johnson 
as a receiver some, mm -hmm. and he's a, a backup tailback. We had actually moved Denson around the formation, John, and played him as a split end and a flanker some to, to give them a little bit of a change of pace. And, okay, here's Tony on a scramble and, and gets over here and, uh, you know, gets hit. And, and this, that was a little tense over there at that particular point in time, but we got it all straightened out. And, okay, he's going back tight in delay. They got it covered, uh, intercepted the ball, but uh, get interference called. Uh, so, we, so we've got to, we get the ball back in here and, and going to go on and, and do some things with it. So, uh, but there was quite a there was quite a bit of ball movement in the in this game. It wasn't just a matter of each team oh, exactly. having having three and punt. Uh, there were phases where neither one of us did anything. There's one of them right there where uh, they hit us in the head. We had a hard time, I thought, throughout the course consistently handling their front people. Okay, now they tried a blitz. We ran a flood, and here's Andre Richardson that that catches it and gets down the sidelines, and so now he's inside the 20 yard line, but. The, there, see, now we get, now we hit this pass here. This was a little bit of a different wrinkle that we put in and threw it three times, and it was a, a big play for us in the ball game. Uh, but you can kind of see Calvin Menifee's got 71. Our 71's got his hands full mm -hmm. out there, and they created a few mismatches as the game went on. And Calvin is, 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 is again, is having a pretty good year, but uh, he had all he wanted out of those guys. Now, we second down, we run play action. Uh, get uh, Derrick Jones turned loose in the end zone, touchdown Oklahoma State. So now we and we're going to kick the extra point and go ahead seven to six. Uh, we had not been able to run the ball in effectively last week against right. Colorado, and really did not feel comfortable about just knocking it in against these guys. We tried to sweep the first play and didn't make anything. Then very quickly went to play action and and, and threw the ball. And here comes Lawson Vaughn comes in and kicks it through. So now we're ahead seven to six, and you have gotten the crowd back in the ball game. We've negated a few things as far as this now. They come back and, and, and run a reverse and uh, make a nice gain out of it. We kind of, we got him boxed up. It didn't ever look like he was going to go the distance, but they got a nice gain. Okay, and here they come back and run a draw play to Gerald Moore. And you can see this this looks here, and this, again, we got to do a better job. This looked like the Burma Road going on yeah, here. Exactly. It, 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 as good oh, as yeah. he is, he should have been wrapped up. Well, oh, certainly he should. And, and they, now, they – they get us going pretty good. When we were just lined up in straight defense, they start trapping, doing some things, and mm -hmm. we play him right there. But, well, we, I mean, it got real, real tough on us. You know, now we hit a, had a stunt on there, and Javon Langford hits him for, for no game. But, okay, this is this big third down play. We jump in, they jump in shotgun. He throws it down there. See, we miss a tackle right there to allow him to get inside there. Now, I, we almost stopped them on this series. They line up and, and, and run more a couple times and, and don't do anything. And they're going to come back and run him the third time over here to the other side and, and go into the end zone right there. And, again, he just kind of bulls his way over the linebacker and the safety. Okay, they, they, they go for two, have a guy open and overthrow him out here on a tight end crossing route and overthrow him. So so now it's, it's Oklahoma 12, Oklahoma State 7, and obviously got us a ball game going. This was a called quarterback draw that we had added off of sprint draw action, which we throw frequently. And I don't think Tony really did not give it time. And, and, and uh, okay, now we come back. This is a set, this is the other change of quarter now. So we're going back and try to throw, try to run deep on them. Here's Denson that that does get by them, but the ball's out of bounds. That's a good call. Stops us, and, and we got to punt. Greg Ivy, I think, came in and and John had another over because he had 173. Now this look at here. See, we got our hands on that twice. It. There oh, it is. Come on, mm -hmm. man. You know you got to you got to get that one. Yeah, I mean, you, we got to get that ball if we're going to win this game. Now watch this. Now you couldn't. Uh, Oklahoma couldn't move, you get the ball back at your own 38. And we had a good defensive series there and, uh, and, and, and come back and Andre breaks one and, and we put uh, uh, make another nice little run, throw that ball a little bit wild and, and get out here and don't make anything. Okay, come back off play action here. Uh, had a little screen called and Tony ran a little bit harder right there, but we couldn't get anything going. Now we're forced to punt, but I was talking about Ivy, Greg Ivy, the punter is He's it, has got to uh, be a he's factor superb. in the Big Eight thing, and, yes. and, and this, these all Big Eight teams always start coming out of season with. But he's got to be a factor there. Okay, run the counter play to Gerald Moore and don't get a heck of a lot. Where he where he was really the most effective, uh, James Allen, not for not much, was again the traps and the fullback give the same play that we run a little bit. And, Okay, there's we force a wild throw. So defensively, you you've kind of settled in right here and playing. Yeah, much we better. we it wasn't a matter of just them going out in every series doing that sort of thing. So we got a little bit lucky right there, Andre. I think the win really that. gave Andre some problems. Well, it, I think it did, and uh, we got here's David Thompson in there running pretty good. But oh yeah, I think the punt catchers all day long had some problems with some things. Uh, and then the way the wind swirls around in this stadium, it's, it's it can happen this way. Okay, run a bootleg here. Uh, they've got it covered. 
Tony runs the ball, we're gonna see what you, okay, we get a first down right in here. So we've got the ball around midfield, got a chance to move it. Okay, come back and now we're gonna haul off and throw deep. Okay, uh, most of the time with him and Denson, they, they, their secondary people did a nice job. We thought we could run by one of them. They set in their zone coverage and played like y'all play. But for him to throw a good deep ball to Denson, he's got to unload it quickly. Yes. I mean, he's not, a, I mean, and, and, and we did, and, and they intercepted it, but I, I don't really fault him a great deal. And we tried to, like I said, run by him on first down, which sometimes you got a chance, hang on, men. And, uh, okay, they come out a little bit short here on this and, 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 and go for it. Now, they like to go on fourth down and, and inside which, their 40. Yeah, which is a fairly gutsy call, but they did it and, and, and barely made the thing come back. And, Okay, here's, here's McGee back to pass and throws deep. Johnny Jones has got them covered down the sideline. We bust a coverage at some point, almost, okay, we run a blitz here. Eric Cobb's nice play on Jermall. Let him get in behind us one other time and got pretty lucky there. But And you got some nice pressure on that. Well, one. yeah, we did some things and took a few chances and, and blitzed and, 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 and Javon Langford and had pretty good pressure on them most of the afternoon, throwing the ball as far as when they had to throw it, because they did the same thing to us. Okay, here's Joe Jefferson on a fullback give. Again, this is the same play they were running quite a bit to, to Gerald Moore, so, so we've seen it. It wasn't anything we hadn't seen before. Okay. And we're now under five minutes. Okay, try to run the option here, and they've got it defended, but Tony comes out of it and makes a pretty nice determined run. Got to get him running a little bit harder here. Okay, now he, uh, the, we throw this one to Russell Berry, and okay, get an interference call right in here. I thought this is a pretty crucial uh, exchange that's going to go on here. All right, Plax, boy, nice throw, nice catch to Denson here. I thought that might have been Tony's best throw of the day Well, right I thought there. so, and, and again, the Denson against a lot of people run off and, and make a long run. They've got enough, certainly enough speed in the secondary to, to make the play. Okay, here Tony comes off here and throws it, and, and I thought we tried to force that one in a little bit. Didn't really come back at the ball like you ought to. Okay. All right, now you get the ball back. They, they're three and out. They had tried to throw the ball several times. Now we get it back with under a minute left, run a screen and make some yards, run a draw and make some yards. So now we're in we're in field goal range right now. We had some timeouts left in here. John, so we decided just to go ahead and, and, and you know, run what you perceive as safe stuff, make a first down, clock the ball. I think there's about 13 seconds left. We had a timeout, so we're going to run a draw. And you see what happens here. We, 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 we got a chance to pop it, and, and, and we want with the win. We want to get the ball down in there, which that kind of deflated us. I won't lie about that. You you want to go in with some momentum. We have the fumble. Kids arm hit Andre. Ball comes out. Now, but it's still 12 to 7 with us with four turnovers. It's obviously still a ball game. Exactly. We look at the second half when we return. Oklahoma leading the Cowboys 12 to 7 heading into the third quarter and it is an action filled third quarter. Well, it very much is. Now this is uh, okay, we kicked the ball down there. Yeah, so there was a lot of things that went on. Uh, certainly in, in this uh, first drive, okay, they throw one out there, catch it. Uh, not much. Let's get him wrapped up here, men. Okay, come out. Uh, run the uh, Frazier the tail back and I uh, need to do a little bit better job tackling there. Run Gerald Moore on a counter play. Lorenzo Green. Nice job. I thought Lorenzo Lorenzo and the, two, and, the, and the rest of the interior guys, Jay Grossfield, nice throw and catch by them there. Uh, Jay Grossfield, Lorenzo Green, uh, uh, Norman Williams, really played a nice ball game here. You're lucky he didn't break that. So they're they're making a heck of a drive here. There's uh, more for not much here. Now they're going to be, they break him on the trap, and he just completely runs over mm -hmm. a linebacker, and the safety misses him, and uh, he goes in and scores. Yeah, a 39 yard run for a touchdown. Too easy. I mean, that's just too easy for them. We just got to do. You got to do a better job of that. So now, Oklahoma has gone on ahead 19 to seven. Uh, the, we come back out and counter this pretty good. Run a little bootleg and hit it to Derek Jones. Really proud of Derek Jones. John, he's got a foot that had bothered him throughout the week. We got lucky here and dribbled this one back up. Andre makes a nice run, but Derek had a good week of practice. Played pretty well and. Again, really pleased with what he's done in his fifth year. He's, he's a heck of a youngster. Okay, now here's David Thompson coming out. So we're driving the ball back down the field. People said, well, did, I was asked afterward, did the, did the uh, uh, first the drive of OU to put them in 19 seven really deflate you? Well, apparently not because we come out and, and counter it pretty good. Nice job, Rafael Dents on a catch and run and making guys miss you. Okay, there's that same pass that we had mm -hmm. thrown earlier, and they're still having a hard time with it. So touchdown, Jeff Grenier. Uh, well conceived little scheme here for, for what they, we caught them in, what we thought wanted to coverage wise, and lays it up nicely. And good job, Grenier, and, and touchdown Oklahoma State. So we're going to come in, kick the uh, extra point. So it's 19 to 14. Obviously, just a nip and tuck ball game. And, 
you feel like that whoever can kind of catch a break here first has, has got a chance to do something. Now that's where this is where they ran the kickoff back. Yes, John? exactly right. They yeah. they ran the kickoff and back. Now we've picked up the play at the Oklahoma State right 39. around midfield. Good play, Jeroy Johnson. He ran up underneath Albert Hall and and, and my man Albert, who I really like as a person. We thought we had him here at one time. Uh, couldn't hold on to it. But uh, okay, they're into the shotgun now. And, Okay, this is yeah, okay, that fourth and two, which which surprised us. They tried to throw the ball on fourth and two and, and didn't do it. And okay, now here's David Thompson breaking off a, a long play. Now, there were several points in here you thought might ha could have swung this thing. I thought us stopping there might have. If we could have got that one down, we might have had a chance on the thing. Okay, we run a screen. Boy, their safety makes a nice play. Boom. Uh, had it not been for him, might have had a play there. Okay, Tony's getting pressure. Comes out here and it's, it, Boogie is standing out there by himself. We caught that and he might have done something. So now we've gotten stopped and Greg Ivey comes back in and hits the ball very, very nicely. They feel it back inside the 10. Uh, we, our coverage unit does a nice job, so we've got them around the 12-yard line. Okay, here they come back and, and run Frazier and make four or five yards. So, so it's just kind of going on along. And, and here, okay, run a little check through. Pass, dump it off to... Uh, to James Allen make make a nice play. Uh, they, you know, have been turned the ball over, but I think a big part of the reason they didn't is because of that cat right there, uh, Derek Moore. That you know, or when you just, yeah, Gerald Moore, when you give the ball to him on fairly simple types of running plays, and you have make positive yards, you don't have to do very much. It's going to risk a fumble, and he's a secure guy. And again, for all those reasons, he's he's a quality player. Uh, so they're just methodically driving the ball down the field. Here's James Allen again inside the 20 yard line. Okay, come off and they run play action. We get fooled, throws the ball back down to uh, Allen again. They've got it down inside the four, give the ball off to, to uh, our man and he runs in the end zone. I'm surprised he's not just over there sucking oxygen. He's running so doggone much. Well, it's 26 to 14 now, but but this this thing is still not over with by any stretch no, of the imagination at, at this point. A good job, Andre. Uh, not much again. They, they they ran us down from the backside. They've still got enough speed and quickness to do those sorts of things. Get up that field, Tony. That's a way to run the ball a little bit harder. They stop us, and, and we come in here and, and, and watch Marvelous this. Marvelous punt. It really is. He hits this ball, and it gets over the top of their catcher, and now we get our, our people get down the field, and that thing is going to roll. Let's let it get right down to the one-yard line and kill it. So there's still how much time? Six, seven minutes left in the ball game now, and there's something like that. And, uh, so we've got – Actually, there's nine minutes. Uh, there's nine left. minutes left, so there's plenty of time for things to happen, and we do kind of what we need to do, as far as stopping them here in three downs. Uh, go ahead and punt. They kind of hit a line drive. Andre gets the ball. He's going to make him about 10, 12 yards here on the return. So see, we've got the ball now at the 30-yard oh, yeah, yeah. line with yeah. with eight minutes or seven minutes left in the game. Run a draw play. And Andre Richardson, nice game. So we've got the ball down there. Okay, big play right here. We got an option play on. Tony, the, the backside guard hits the ball and knocks it down. Now we got to try to throw it. They just overwhelm one of our guys. Yeah, now, now, it's, now it's down. fourth and 20, which is not good for us. I mean, that is not a down and distance we handle well at all. Throw the interception. A great job, good effort on Denson's part staying with it. Now they got to clip him right there. Okay, well, now they get penalized for cutting up. And, and so now the, 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 the here's the clip and the other one and moving on back. But we get fourth and 20 boy that's not something no. we do real well when they got those kind of pass rushers so they're able to just kind of hear james allen hits a backside cut this was really the big i thought only real big play by the uh, lewis Adams gets his ankle rolled up a little bit there well here comes you know who and runs over four or five guys and, and gets gets off down there and here he is again run through it and just kind of bullies way in the end zone that's his fifth so all five of them all she wrote and, and uh, uh you know good man gary gibbs good ball game oh you let's get on down the road well, we're down the road to talk about students because they're a priority at Oklahoma State. That's up next on our feature. When you are a student at Oklahoma State, you can expect to receive support from every corner of the university. And Tom Dorado explains on this week's feature. It's often been said that a university is only as good as the faculty, staff, and students that it attracts. Oklahoma State University grades extremely high in all three areas every year. When it comes to students, OSU consistently stands among the nation's elite. One of the university's main missions is to provide these students with high quality service. It's a big job, but a top priority nonetheless. Yes, it is, Tom. And we in the Division of Student Services have eight major areas over which we have responsibility. And I would identify um, the opportunity for students to participate in governance and, and involvement in, in their student organizations and activities 
which suggests that they've got uh, plenty of opportunity to develop leadership skills. We have financial aid, which uh, distributes over $80 million a year in loans and grants and work opportunities, scholarships. A residence hall that took the national award this last year because of its opportunity for students as well as 14 di different selections for food service. Things that we think make this a big family, it's happy, we try to be responsive and of service and students are full participants. They come from all over the state, I think every county is represented. Uh, we have a nice mix of international students which helps us to address global understanding and issues. They're, they're really good, honest, hardworking people that want to make something of themselves and for the most part they seek OSU to do that. Vice President in charge of student, student services, which Dr. Ron Beer is, uh, John, as I understand it, he's a, has a very large, it's a very large number, a lot of things involving there. Mm -hmm. Dr. Beer went over uh, a lot of them. John, uh, he, is, he usually comes over and shares some things with our players when they first report on what's expected of them and how student government runs. But I know, I know Dr. Jim Halligan, our president, is, is very, very interested in and spends a lot of time as far as what you do for students, not just football players, basketball players, all students on this campus. And obviously you got extension, you got research, bottom line is what, what what do you do for students on the campus? And, and Dr. Beer and his crew do an excellent job of it. What do you do with your football team? Final week, Kansas State, come back from the loss against Oklahoma. Oh, I will, we'll go up there and play well. We like, like to beat Kansas State last year. I sure. went down the last 17 seconds. What we do is, is have a good week of practice, prepare to go up there and play a good ball game at Manhattan. And next week, you can join us right here for the Pat Jones Show, and we'll take a look at it at the season finale. Thanks for being with us.